Hey, what is up, guys? It's me, Alpha Papa Novi, and welcome back to the channel. It's a pleasure to have you guys on board. Now, let's get right into it because this is Tips and Tricks 101 with Alpha Papa Novi. We are going to be talking about parries, setup parries, and techniques and all that. Now, what works for me might not work for someone else. Just letting you guys know, just throwing out that disclaimer. So, let's get right into it. Um, this is more um, the setup that I have right here is more for like. Um, this is more for like people experience this setup is for like an experienced player already parrying without a shield so let's get a shield i already have one uh, okay so the shield that you want to choose is either the buckler these three shields they're really good to, for parrying any small shield is good for parrying um these ones are more for like advanced users and then this is for like even more advanced users so we are going to be doing it with the shield for now and let me get the shield on this hand and then we'll do the Fuck, I didn't choose it. Okay, let's put the shield on this hand. And then we'll do it with the sword. It's the same thing, so I guess I'll just show you guys with the shield. The first thing we're going to talk about is setup parries. Um, setup parries are pretty easy, actually. Um, first, I'm going to show you guys. I'm gonna, we're going to talk about it. This place is pretty creepy, by the way. Like, Listen to the, listen to the music. Listen to the music. I'm going to just stay quiet for like two seconds. Yeah, creepy, huh? If you stay here long enough, it's creepy. I've be, I been, I already made like two videos on this area. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is setup parry. Setup parries are easy. Um, they, I mean, they're not easy. It's just you setting it up for the parry. For instance, there's many ways you can set up a parry. You can set up a parry by throwing an item at the opponent. If he's far enough, you throw an item, you throw an item, if I can speak correctly. So, when you throw this item, it leaves you open to be hit. So, he's going to think that he can come and hit you. So, you throw the item, and it's a set of parry. You do it on purpose, right? Um, because you're setting him up for a parry. So, you're going to throw this item, and he's going to rush at you and try to hit you. And that's when you parry his ass. That is what it's called set a parry another way to set a parry is where you sit here and block um this usually works with spammers um blocking and set a parry works with spammers someone's spamming the hell out of you or like if you see see parrying is all about the pattern and parrying is not that hard parrying is pretty easy it's just very punishable and when you get punished you will get hit a lot most of the times you will get hit once or twice and especially if you're fighting a spammer you probably will end up losing 50 percent of your hp or you'll die if you don't have enough hp so another way to do the setup parry is blocking like for if you're fighting someone with a katana you block and then you parry them that is their parry you, you can even walk up to them and just like walk up to them for them to spam you that's the setup parry another way you can set up parries there's many ways to set up setting up parries like i said another way that you can set up parry is um you hit them you strike them and most of the times when you strike someone you're really not trying to hit them you're just trying to set them up for a parry so he could be you he could be at a distance where you know you're not going to hit your opponent so you strike and then you parry his ass and this is all set up already this is in your mind already you're like okay i'm gonna parry this guy the guy could be like where the stain is like somewhere around there i know i'm not gonna hit him with this axe right i know i'm not gonna hit him so you hit him and then you parry them uh, the, uh, most of the times if you're fighting an experienced players and you're holding your weapons with two hands and you're fighting 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 especially if they know that you're an okay decent player and you grab a shield they already know what you want they automatically know what you're going to do because i already know if i'm fighting an experienced player that i have fought before and i'm fighting him and he has a weapon like this and he's just going at it and all of a sudden he grabs his shield i kind of already know what he's going to do but that is set up parry now Let's talk about prediction parry. Prediction parry is my favorite. Prediction parry is more kind of like you walk up to someone and you parry their ass. And that's what I do most of the time. You will see me doing that on the videos. I'm um, walking up to people and boom. Or I guess I do both. I do set up parry and prediction parry. Prediction parry is, I, I don't know, I just find them more cool. And to all the people that don't know how to parry, that are having problems parrying um let's go to the bonfire real quick i my suggestions is especially in dark souls 2 because dark souls 2 from dark souls 1 is really why can't i use the feather what the fuck can't i use the feather i don't know why or i guess i could run to the bonfire oh because i'm getting invaded by who the fuck is that that's not that's a npc right or is that an actual player yeah that's an actual player so i guess you guys would 
see me here trying to fight this guy and i'll try to set him up for a parry um now it's easier to set up parry with a weapon that you're more familiar with um let me see for instance i can use the um what can i i can use a different weapon let's see i can use the claymore which i'm really really more comfortable using for a setup parry you can use any weapon but i'm just more comfortable with a with a claymore because i can do the poke i can do this and I, i'll just use my axe that i had because it'll make it more challenging but where is this guy come on dude because i was actually going to throw did he left no he's still here okay this is the kind of players that i don't like and like he's gonna make me wait so i'm not gonna go up there because all the enemies are alive and especially the big bear so i'm gonna just wait here and then i'll cut to where he comes or i don't know i'm not gonna go looking for him that is for fucking sure because i'm not here to look for anybody or pvp or beat the area i'm here to show you guys a technique so give me a second hey so i guess he's here now so i don't know oh shit i might get backstabbed here all right he has a maracumo it's pretty hard to parry the maracumo in this game in dark souls one the maracumo was so easy to parry okay see that was way too fast that was um like a prediction parry that i just did but it was way too fast here we go another one. Oh, uh, that, that should have been a parry right there okay let's do a jumping attack this is going to be a setup parry too fat oh there we go and you do the repost now for the repost you have to do the you have to do high damage i'm gonna explain to you guys just let me fight him again let me see if i can parry him again uh, now he's gonna do the whip because he already knows what i'm up what i'm up to he knows that all i want to do is parry his ass so we're gonna punish that while jumping attack and he's gonna come in and we're gonna get up okay now let's get the backstab okay i was too far from him but that's how you do it guys there you go um I'm gonna put, I'm gonna play some clips that I have already recorded so we can talk a little bit more about the whole parrying and reposting. I guess I can talk about the reposting real quick. Reposting now. This is this is all up to you. Reposting is all up to you. And I mean, if you want to one shot people, you can use a dagger. Me personally, there's something about me watching your HP drain all of it at once and one shotting you that turns me on. It literally, it just it gets me wet. <laughs> It sounds really wrong, I know, but there's something about it that it just fucking turns me on and I just love it and it's, I don't know, it, I just jizzes my pants when I see your HP drain in one shot and I'm not talking about hacking. So when it comes down to reposting, uh, it's all up to you and if you can live with it and if you want to one shot people, you can one shot people. If you don't want to one shot people, then hey, repost with the weapon you have on. I could have switched to the dagger and just one shot at that guy right there. See, boom, right there you're gone buddy let me show you the stats real quick um so you guys can have an idea of the stats that i had and my character name and now we're gonna go and talk a little bit more about um the setup parry and prediction parry right there i was doing a combination of both i was doing setup parry and prediction parry but i'll see you guys in a bit now here we are guys welcome back the first one that we have is a prediction parry and prediction parry is i don't know it's kind of hard to say if it's for beginners or it's for experienced players i want to say that a beginner should try prediction parries more than setup parries setup parries are more for people that are more experienced and when you know the weapon attack the weapon swing and timings and all that and prediction parries are pretty easy to pull off it's just you walking up to someone and just like spamming parry not spamming it but i hit him parry at least once um this is a prediction parry prediction parry is like this guy he already switched to a weapon and when i noticed that he has his fist see you want to parry prediction parry weapons that are easy to parry like that boom i know that he's going to spam me and i know he has his fist so it's pretty easy to time it it's pretty it's just walking up to him and parrying him now let's see what other clip we have next and i'll see you guys in a bit okay so next we have a setup parry and these ones are pretty easy like i said all i have to do is walk up to him block and i know he's going to spam me and boom there's your parry these ones are pretty easy to pull off like i said i guess it just comes with experience but my suggestion is if you're having a lot of trouble or if you're having problems parrying because i was having a lot of problems because the timings in dark souls 2 and dark souls 1 is way off it's different so it's not the same and you're gonna have all these problems if you're having a lot of problems my recommendation is use the monastery scimitar to learn because that's how i learned believe it or not when dark souls 2 came out i couldn't parry for shit i couldn't get even one parry to save my life 
And then when I learned that the monastery scimitar was like the easiest weapon to parry with and had a lot of iframes, I started using it and I used that as like a beginner. And then I was like, okay, okay, I got this. And then I became better and better and better. And now I can predict parries. Um, basically, in Dark Souls 1, I was really good at parrying, but at this point, I'm just rambling, guys. As always, thank you for checking out my channel. Take care. Don't do anything bad enough about Bonobi. We'll see you guys on the next one.